This is something I wrote in 2009, right before my son was born. He was okay. the first born. Questions to ask yourself before having kids. Because obviously I was spending a lot of time sure. talking to a lot of parents. And uh-huh. uh, there was a survey. 11% of parents say they regret their choice to wow. have kids. Wow. And so I just asked everybody the same question on the, uh, on the text. Overwhelmingly, it's yes. And I said, this is for people, by the way. Answer the question if you have kids who are, you know, still your, you were the guardian of these mm-hmm. kids. Like, so that it, you're still in parent, right. day-to-day parent mode. It's easy when, you know, they're adults and you worry about them, I'm sure. Of course. Yeah, you know, at that point too, but it's not like a daily grind. Right. Like it was. Now, before you decide to procreate, you might want to ask yourself these questions. And I looked at this now that I have a 13-year-old and a 10-year-old, and I'm mm-hmm. like, man, I was pretty spot on with... Uh, with everything. Now, this was from the early days. I would agree with the early days from like birth until, let's just say, eight. Okay. Eight years old. Would you find it demeaning to wipe the ass of an ungrateful person who drained you of your youth, money, and energy? <laughs> <laughs> Have demeaning. you ever really watched a kid's show? If so, now watch it a hundred times in a row every day for a month. Oh, God. That would drive me insane. Are you cool with outfitting your toilet with a plastic clamp that you won't be able to open at 3 <laughs> o'clock in the morning when you got to take a leak? I went over to a friend's house. With that, the, I saw that yeah. at a friend's house. And yeah. I'm like, I couldn't even figure it out. I'm like, how does what, this what, work? Because I didn't want to break it. I feel like I was like pulling too hard. I'm like, no, you just got to use a little bit more force. I'm like, oh, I uh, thought I was going to break oh, it. Uh, yeah. But I'm like, man, your, your whole life, like everything has latches. and. Well, here's a question the for you. The toilet is If your toilet was not shut, baby-proofed. Is a baby going to crawl up to a toilet, lift up the lid, and then fall face first into it? I mean, not I, I, fall, but play in it. Or would play, they? Yeah. play yeah. and splash around. And- yeah. Yeah. Have a good time. Nothing was baby-proofed when I was a kid. Do you have a room in your house or a finished basement that a child's going to be able to move into after you blow $200,000 <laughs> on their college education? <laughs> yeah. Bass? You lived in the basement, didn't you? No, in high, yeah, in well, high yeah, but he didn't move high back school. after college. Yeah, <laughs> not, not, not as this question states. Are you ready to potentially be a grandparent in 16 years? Oh, no, 16 years. <laughs> it's oh, weird oh, now at 46 when you meet people who are your age and they have grandkids. Yeah. Does, isn't that's Whoopi a Goldberg trip. a great grandparent? Something like yeah, that. Um, I mean, that's easy. Yeah. But yeah, I run into people my age like, that are grandparents. <laughs> You're like, huh? That. So what? strange. You're a what? Huh? Weird. Huh? Uh, I wrote this again 2009 before having kids, but these are questions to ask yourself before you have kids. If a person flings oatmeal into your face for no reason, do you A, laugh, <laughs> B, beat the crap out of them, if B, do not proceed? Yeah. <laughs> you just kind of have to go, huh? Oh, boy. Little Isn't Johnny. That adorable. Mm. Yes. Greg, dealing with messes just in general. Oh, God. See, that's, Constant, right? that should be number one on the list. Can you effortlessly transition from saying the F word to fudge in the middle of enunciating it? No. <laughs> yes. Does 18 years sound too long to go without fun? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Would getting peed on be as fun when you're not paying someone $300 an hour to do it? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Once your folks stop nagging you about when they're going to be grandparents, will you have anything left to talk about with Ooh, your parents? That's wow. a question. You know, because some people, they get married immediately, it starts. When you have kids? When you have kids? Mm-hmm. Right. When you have, my dad was like that. When you have kids? My mom never said anything. But my dad, when I'm having kids? When am I, <laughs> when am I going to be pap? Well, you had Dude, them right away. You have them then. Yeah. Yeah. Did she? You have some. You waited less than a year, right? Yeah, yeah. But my wife, because she was tripping out. She was 30. And after 30, it becomes more difficult. And she's reading me all this stuff that she, you know. Yeah. Heard, read, or whatever. Right away, we're doing right away. It. But you know, what? now in hindsight, I'm glad that we did it then, and that we didn't wait, because now I'm going to have more of my, if I have any usable years after I'm done working. Right. Maybe two. You know what I mean? Because by the time I'm done doing this, I'm going to be 53, mm-hmm. 52, and that's a, you know, that's good. Yeah. I'll have that's a lot of time. Yeah, I'll have some of my youth. My kids will be out of high school. Still well, young I'll be enough. younger, not youth. Still young but, enough to yeah, bang. Your youth has passed your by. Yeah, but you, you know what I'm saying? Like you're still yeah. gonna be young enough to enjoy stuff and whatever. Yeah, yeah. Like that's. But as I, someone who doesn't want to travel and loves sitting around and. No, I don't want to international travel out oh. other than Mexico. I'll go other places. Yeah, I'll, I'll do stuff like I'll, that. I'll, I'll do a road trip. Yeah. Yeah, I will. <laughs> no, you won't. I'm going to get, get uh, football and hockey season tickets. I'm going to go to games. I'm going to go to Mexico like four times a year for a week <laughs> each. 
and then uh, we'll go piss off to wherever our kids end up living mm. and visit them and do that kind of stuff. That sounds great. It does. And then maybe do like a podcast or something. Maybe we can continue the show like a twice or three day a week podcast on our own terms. How about that? A couple hours a day, live wherever you want. Just dial in. That'd be, sounds awesome. That'd be, that'd be all right. Uh, back to my list. Do you think your child will bring positive change to America's future <laughs> or will it be like you? <laughs> Getting. Uh, do you like having a dog? Because it's nothing like that. That was one of the things I heard from parents oh, yeah. beforehand. Like my sister and her husband, they had a Yorkie <laughs> before uh-huh. they had kids. Now she's had like four kids. But they got a Yorkie. And there was like things like when you go over the house, it was like, shh, he's sleeping. He's taking a nap. The, the dog? dog? It's a dog. But they were like doing this whole practice thing. Oh, God. Of this. <laughs> pre- oh, wow. Of like, this is what it was going to be like. That's pretty funny. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, it's a dog, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you know? <laughs> I'd like to join you for lunch, yeah. but it's nap time. Well, we're going to yeah. get a dog first. No, it's nothing like that. Yeah, dog's way better. Ladies, this is for you. Do you love stretch marks and crave cellulite? Probably. Who for doesn't? our redneck friends, do you like being awake all night while not being high on meth? <laughs> <laughs> are you a happy, easygoing person? If he answered yes, are you willing to never be that way again? These are questions to ask yourself before you have kids. I'm surprised you had kids after this list. Well, she was like eight months pregnant, dude. Oh. <laughs> well, so it's too late. Yeah. It was and already a wrap. My, and honestly, my answer to the question of would I uh, would I do it all over again, where I'm at right now, I would say yes. Okay. And it's a big that's a big change because it was really so if we about asked you five like, years ago when oh. your son was four and your daughter was a baby. That was rough. Or when she was pooping all over that the was, place. Like like you love them, but you're like, and this is where I go back to. Uh, I love my kids. I've always loved my kids, but I hate being a parent. Like the, the tough being stuff. Being a like, parent's a job. Like, well, yeah, when it's your niece or nephew, that's yeah. your brother or sister's Those kids. Those are returnables. Those are returnables. <laughs> but like when it's all on you, nah. you know, and uh, <laughs> like the worst part about having a kid at this point is just the anxiety that you're not sure. doing enough to, you know, shape them or help them make good choices. Like, you know, be a good person. Or just have sending a good them life. out in the world in general. Yeah, because you want them to have a good life, mm-hmm. right? Like, um, it just, it never stops. Like, you just never get a day off. You know, so and that, that carries on to when your kids are an adult, I'm sure. Definitely. You know, you want them to make the uh, the good choices. And not do, and that's the other thing, man. Like, as much as you try to do that, because you, you tell them from experience, you're watching them make the same mistakes that you did, even though you told them. You try to warn, and, 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 and I did the same thing. Like your parents try to tell you, yep, and you just think they're idiots, you know. But man, it's you can go back knowing what you know now. Well, of dude, course, uh, dude. If you can go back knowing what you know now, can you imagine how awesome? Like you would have everything figured out. Like if you go back to freshman year of high school, knowing what you know now. Oh yeah, you would rule high school. Right, you'd rule it. You'd rule life. You would rule life. Yeah. <laughs> you would rule life. And it helps you forgive your parents for whatever you're angry at them about as well. Yes. Because I think about that now. Yeah. Like at my age, when my dad was my age, I was 21. I can't imagine Jeez. having a 21-year-old right yeah. now. Yeah. Like, and then I think like, wow, he was such a dick when he did this, this, and this. But yeah. then I think, what would I do now with yeah, my right. son? I'd probably be a dick. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Dude, I could have had a kid going on 30. Thinking about that recently, mm-hmm. because uh, that one girl from uh, boarding school who got pregnant, yeah, if that would have uh, gone through, I'd, I'd have almost a, I would probably be a grandfather. You might yeah. be. They're going back to the yeah. whole thing yeah. about people You'd be Whoopi Goldberg. Age. I'd be Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woody Goldberg. Uh, <laughs> Jesus, isn't that weird to think of? So yes. Weird. God. <laughs> oh. <laughs> 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 